Backtracking! <laughs> oh, the, the theme that plays when you revisit this area is also really cool. So, um, I like that one too. Also, a random grave digger. This guy's creepy. He is, is that creepy. A beard or a scarf? Who yes. knows? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your face? <laughs> it looks to me more like he grew out a side ponytail and then just pulled it over his face. <laughs> Yeah, his chin is balding, so he has a comb over. Yeah. Um, oh, no, a comb over beard? <laughs> so, what apparently, up until this revisit, everything that you could have possibly gotten on your way up here was just a cock tease. Well, you, uh, yeah. you don't get the elephant until after this area, and... You... So you really couldn't do anything anyway. Yeah. Um, now, the, I knew something was suspicious about the flowers when I was playing through the game. It was just like, these aren't supposed yeah. to be here. What the hell? Um, and then... <laughs> you are unnatural. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, we got to crush those, symboliz those symbols for the fra fragility of life. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but the elephant, honestly, is probably my least favorite transformation in the game. It always has been. It's it's so it's just, it's just there to open areas. Yeah, it's you you know I think one thing that would make it cooler is to give it more combat potential because you can ram into stuff, but it's so slow and you bounce off. I would shoot water out of its trunk. That would be cool. Um, so Donkey Kong Country three. Yeah, uh, and I, yeah. and I mean like the elephant's adorable. It is very but... cute. Um. Yeah, but it's always been my least favorite. You Honestly, you don't want to backtrack for anything with the elephant until after you do this section, because you have to talk to this guy to get the elephant get stomp. The, and oh, a yeah. lot of areas that... I mean, there are a decent amount of areas you can get into with just the elephant, but there's even but more... But you, well, you might as well just come here first and get the stomp, because it's for free. Yeah. yeah. Make this a priority. Yeah. Also, it's, it's just strange going through an area that you used to rush through slowly. It's just... It's bizarre. Oh, yeah, you're right. You do have to backtrack to this area, because you need the mouse for that. For, okay. Yeah. You know, I, may, I, I just said that the elephant's my least favorite transformation, but I don't really like the mouse very much either. So no, uh, the mouse is the most situational out of all. Of them. Yeah, I'm. I mean, it's used for one interesting thing in the mermaid level, and that's about it. And I don't know if that one interesting thing is worth having to use it for other stuff. So those buzz saws are really fickle. Yeah. Like, they unload really easily, and I don't know what causes it. Uh, they are from other games, because they're definitely in Risky's Revenge. I can't remember off the top yeah. of my head. But it's like, so, sometimes they're there, and sometimes they're not, and I don't know what causes that. I don't know if they ever unloaded like that in Risky's Revenge, though. I don't think so. I remember them being annoying yeah. in that game, but I don't think that they ever had the issue of, like, now they're there, now they're not, ever. Yeah. It happens on both uh, PC and PS4. And I'll, I'll say, um... Uh, on the PS4, I'm not sure the, whether this applies to the Xbox One version or the eventual Wii U release, but I uh, did notice a bit of lag on a few areas. Oh, you did? That's a shame. Um, uh, when I was playing yeah, my... Uh, mermaid, uh, the mermaid level, actually, in the beginning with all the waterfalls and all that. Huh. So I had, some, had a bit of frame dips. Uh, that's weird. Only in the PS4 because... version. Because the, PS, the, the PC version, at least on my rig, was buttery smooth. Uh, the only issue where I had any issue with my version, uh, my PC version, and I haven't played the Wii U version, which is the one I'm going to, which I, that I'm getting my backer copy, so we'll see how well that runs. The only issue I had running the game was in the one area with ra uh, rain. It cut the frame rate in half, and I, I think I turned anti-aliasing off, and it helped a little bit. Although I still don't know what anti-aliasing even does, so uh, I didn't really gets rid of jaggies. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I didn't really notice a difference with it on or off or whatever, but yeah, it made it run a little smoother. That that may depend on your rig, because I never had any frame rate problems. Yeah, my my laptop's not great, so uh, whether or whether or not it's even worth having on is partly dependent on what resolution you're playing the game at in the first place. So I believe I tried to have it at the highest one possible. Because... Well, what what resolution you're having you're playing the game with, and what resolution your monitor is, because the higher the resolution, the more you're going to tell when that's on or off. I thought this puzzle was cool, like try, uh, having to... Be a while, because I just wasn't thinking about it too much. Even then, you're not going to be able to do anything nope. with this until you get the mouse. Uh, I was, I was, yeah, uh, this, I was oh, yeah, thinking this? ahead. Yeah, yeah that, no, yeah, that, yeah, okay, yeah, you fine. know what, I said there was only one interesting use for the mouse. That was a cool puzzle, too. There's not a lot of puzzle solving in Half Genie Hero. It's much more about jumping around and... That's, what, that, that, that's why I consider what, it more like of a said, platformer than a Metroidvania. Yeah, so I think it really does depend on your tastes, whether which one you like better or worse. Um, it's 
I think I'm gonna end up going to both for when I want different things. Is is and that's fine. Uh, what do you guys prefer? I mean, but when I mean, we playing the game, I did. I missed miss the dungeons. dungeons. Yeah. I honestly, I didn't. It took me a while to even realize that they were gone. Like it, I, it's just one of those. It's still trying I, to make you like backtrack and explore the levels, which is fine. But if you're doing that, I kind of expected dungeons. So I was like, so yeah, I'm just of the not, opinion that I like platformers. Obviously, everyone knows that at this point. But it's like, if you want to be a platformer, that's great. But be a platformer. There's on, uh, 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 honestly, I think that there might be more backtracking in Pirates in Half Genie Hero than in Part in Pirates than in Pirates Curse. Sorry, I get the subtitle Pirates. Revenge. I get the uh, as we all know, I get the subtitles for these games mixed up a lot. Um, let me say that half, again. Half there Pirate might Hero. be more Half Genie Pirate. There might be more. Oh, I love this joke. You got sick. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to translate that if they're releasing this in other countries, but that's that's just hilarious. Um, but anyway, um, I think that there might end up being more backtracking total in Half Genie Hero than there is in Pirate's Curse, which is bizarre. At the same time, though, they also fo uh, give you the abilities to get in and out of areas very quickly, and you don't have to pay for Well, you don't have to buy them. Like, you don't have to constantly be buying Pirate's Flares, for instance. Um... Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Again, it, it's one of the, the downsides of doing a game so early is, is that I've only played through it once, and I, I haven't... I don't know what I prefer or what I don't prefer yet, you know? It's very fresh and new and shiny. I think... As the fourth game in Shantae already has an established formula, and that involves dungeons, to completely eliminate them is ballsy, I would say, unless they had the intention of making up for that with additional content, but as you just said, it's early, too early to tell. I um, I will say that I didn't feel like they were a missing part of the game, because I believe the game from the start was developed with the intention of not having dungeons to begin with, because we got the, uh, we got the demo, what, like, what, a year or two ago? And there were no, and the level design was mostly the same from there to now in the areas that were shared between the demo and the final game, obviously. So I think from the beginning, or at least close to the beginning, they decided we're not going to have dungeons in this. So as a result, I don't feel like they're, um, like, I mean, it's weird not having them, but if you look at the game on its own merits, it's not like you get to the end of a stage and you feel like there should be a dungeon here. It's a point A to point B adventure. Uh, this time, so yeah. it's not like you suddenly expect there to be a dungeon when there isn't one. So, which lends to the kinetic feeling you yeah credited the game for yeah. earlier in this commentary, I, which I agree, the game is kinetic. Uh, I would say that in a lot of ways, I also there isn't any of the weird pacing issues that Pirates Curse had because I went back to try to play that again because I, I wanted to compare the two, and oh god, I. I forgot how much I disliked uh, Run Run Roddy Tops and Tanline Temple. Those areas kill my <laughs> kill my interest in wanting to re like. I got to Tanline Temple and I was like, oh god, I gotta go through here again. And I just I turned the game off. I didn't want to play any anymore. Um, I did manage to get through Run Run Roddy Tops, but that's just because I know that if you if you don't screw up too much, that section's done and fine. Yeah, minutes. Run Run Roddy Tops but... isn't too bad as long as you don't like absolutely suck at it, but. Uh, it was just my first playthrough. That took me like 20 minutes to get through because I kept on, I kept on failing. Uh, yeah. So, but Tanline Temple is just, oh god, I hate going through it. If I, you know, what I should do is just get through it one of these days, and then come back, and, like, and then copy that save file so that when I get to Tanline just Temple in later playthroughs, I can skip it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I'm sure we've all done that for some. Twilight games. Princess, like, I know, anyone? Uh, Majora's Mask, I think, also. That first three-day cycle, I would like to be able well, to Well, at least, again, at least in, in Majora's Mask, you can just... If you if you figure out where the grandma or the scarecrow is, you can skip right to the end of it. Twilight Princess, you have to do all of it. Every single time. I... <laughs> now, I've only played Twilight Princess twice at this point, but I honestly, I kind of like the intro. So... What's wrong um, with you, Ted? The town area is quaint. Like, the kids... Well, the the ba the little baby and that douchebag kid are annoying, but the other two kids are are neat. Characters. I hate the kids. And I like, eh. Well, I mean, the the little the weird baby looking De one baby. kid though, 
screw off. <laughs> he can go screw off. You just bought it. You're um, so smart. You just bought it at Mallow Mart. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love the crab with its little claws. It's adorable. Plushy for Ted. <laughs> yeah. I wish the. Why? Do, why is it? Why is it an upgrade to use your hands? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big um, meaty claws. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, so do you get the blobfish dance in no. this one? No. Okay, I don't know what. The there's, there, there's, there's, I don't no know what it, it, it is. I it does. I tr oh, so, so I it's a magic carp dance. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just the blob kid sprite. I tried coming back to the grandma and trying to talk to her with the blob. Nothing fish. happens. You, you don't get anything. And I believe no. if you touch the water, you just transform back like most of the other mm -hmm. ones. So yeah, which that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there are a few uh, optional dances that you can. Yeah, yeah, I guess they all come from the Naga. Yeah, uh, that you can run into a while. Uh, did you guys use any of them uh, besides? Because I I I used, uh, the, I used the health one a little bit. Uh, just the the uh, I used to obliterate once the the, the screen nuke, but that eats up infinite so magic. Much anyone? Yeah, I mean, once you get infinite magic, then it's a non-issue. But it's like early game until you get all the gallery keys. It's like a total magic guzzler. Um, the uh, the dryad, uh, the dryad's a little bit cheaper than the um, than the than the the revive dance, and it gives you oranges. So that's yeah. decent. Um, that's decent. You just can't move. It basically just spawns oranges, like the gem pot spawns uh, ma uh gems. I only used the yeah. gem pot once, and that was just so that I could get the money to buy the final revive dance from the Naga, um, you know? Uh, and that was just so yeah. that I could, because um, I, I was just grinding uh, for money at that point. I was like, this is the last thing I needed to buy. I'm going to trade my warp dance in for the gem pot, get the money, buy the thing, and then trade it right back. Because <laughs> uh, the, the warp dance is too valuable to not have at all times. Like, yeah. well, For backtracking, yes. Yeah, it, it, it basically, if there were no warp dance, the backtrack would, I would, the backtracking in this, I think, would be, egregious but if the the people say oh you should check something in the factory you can warp to the factory within a couple of seconds so i don't mind uh i don't mind it that and if you are going for 100 percent, you do need to buy those unfortunately things. yes i don't know why yeah. purchase upgrades count as actual percentages but whatever that's how it's always that's how it's always been i, it, I still it i still don't get it it's been but it, it, it the point still stands yeah the point still stands Eh. Yeah, thankfully for all of the important upgrades, I never found money to be a problem. I don't think I needed to grind until I was getting all of the Naga yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah. My first playthrough was very meticulous, very Same slow, here. and um, I got 100% of that one. My second playthrough, which I didn't like half of the time, I only went after shampoo and hair upgrades, maybe a bubble and a fire and yeah. i was just fine um oh i actually think that um the first two puff clouds are kind no, of the, the puff, the, but the final the puff, puff are, cloud is amazing. yeah but the puff clouds are completely pointless well i mean they're great uh if you okay here's the thing about the the puff cloud uh, especially once you get the infinite magic from the um from the gallery keys if you use it you stay in place it's the same for the flamethrower too uh so you can stay in place and you can aim the the magic attack in any direction so um once you get to the final slidey section it, you don't even have to worry about jumping at all you just jump to the right corner hold the magic button and then you'll instantly win that section maxed out storm cloud or puff cloud is a pretty useful utility in one part of this game that will will see no doubt uh later down the road uh, well I'm not I, sure know, I, I, know, I never get the puff clouds sure it was an optional room or not uh, no, 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 but the room I'm talking about where I used it in. Oh, the darkness room? Did you yeah, use it? Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I cheesed that dark. early. Do you go to... Do you cheese... I mean, I know how to cheese it, but, like, first time I did, you know, you don't know what the level looks no, like. No, 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 you, you, get, you can do it the first time, and too. I didn't... I, did it, I cheesed it the first time. You... No, 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 no. How did you I, cheese I, but, it? Yeah, obviously, I mean... Uh, okay, so I think I mean, I'm, I'm not going to know how you, how you cheese it, because it's probably the same thing that I do. We use no. We use transformation. Oh, okay. Oh, then I, then my way is probably my, better. my way is probably better. <laughs> well, but, uh, if you, um, uh, I'm trying to think of how you're supposed, uh, how you can cheese it. I know that if you transform, yeah. there's a brief flash. Yeah, of it, light if you transform into anything, there is a brief flash of light that goes a little bit of the way. 
so you can technically see where the spikes and platforms are right next to you. Right. Yeah, yeah that's how, that's I, how I, it. I did it the first time. Uh, first time uh, I used the elephant stomp uh, because the, 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 the dust cloud that forms when you use it reveals the, the silhouettes of the, the spiked blocks and all that. And I was able to slowly but surely over. learn the design until I finally learned the design and realized there is a gaping uh, shortcut that you can take with the harpy dance that uh, I, I can tell you guys about when we get to that room. And how stupid did you feel when you finally found the bat sonar? Well, first off, I appreciate the Symphony of the Night callback. <laughs> but second, it's too it. late. <laughs> the, the bat... I already did it my the way. The bat sonar to me is the most useless. Well, we, I've well, said like, that. Well, you, 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 only, yeah. you literally only need <laughs> and it for like, one and as, we, and as we've proven, we can cheese it just fine. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there are multiple ways of doing that room. Oh, man. Just like the real sonar in Symphony of the Night. Use it once and only once. Um, aren't there other areas where you're intended to use the sonar in Symphony of the Night? Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Not that I remember. Maybe it is I just mean, an elaborate Castlevania an reference. I don't know. <laughs> it has to be a castle. The bat sonar is a Castlevania reference. It has to be. Oh, man. Wait, hold on. Does the uncle have more than one? No, I think he's only got the one. Um, uh, no, he, no, he has a few. Uh, oh, he does? Well, okay, well like I two or three. Not nowhere near as much as Shante, but he has, a, he has like two or three. Yeah, it's only minor characters that only get the one then. I like guess. this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Who I, I'm pretty sure this is just his sprite, but slightly yeah. blown up. Yeah. Okay, bye uh, then. <laughs> what? Cape Crustacean. Someone's planning a heist. I... Oh man, are we gonna get all Ocean's Eleven on this? Or I suppose if this is Shantae, Ocean's like I don't know four. <laughs> Ocean's half genie here. Oh, but how are they going to have a, a movie with only half of an actor, though? <laughs> uh, Peter Dinklage? Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. I like Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, <laughs> Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs>